Okay, we got uh, some parts in the mail, and we're going to try to reassemble the uh, power takeoff. We've already got one bearing put in on the uh, shaft, pressing in this uh, inner bearing. And uh, old bearings make uh, make for great uh, assistance in making this happen. Also, I received the flange, drive flange that will fit on here. I'm going to try to get that assembled today. I'm sure glad I got a, a new one that we're actually using because compared to the uh, uh, one I currently have, it is a mess. So uh, let me get work and uh, get back with you. Okay, I got this thing back together. We've got some problems, some of my own making. When I had to pull, use the wheel puller to, to pull off those, uh, those gears, I damaged the inside threads on the shaft. Not too worried about that because I can tap those on, the, on each side. Uh, I'm missing a spring for this little valve poppet. This puts pressure on the shifter assembly so that it'll stay in position, but this works really smooth. So I was really pleased about how this... Uh, There's an old saying that you, you haven't, uh, if you don't have any leftover parts, you haven't done things correctly. Well, that may apply to some things, but I don't think it applies to this. I have found five pins in my wash tank. Uh, they were along with the uh, power takeoff component, so I assumed it was with the power takeoff. But now that I've got this thing assembled, I don't know where these pins go. Uh, life of me, I just not, don't remember. And I've assembled the transmission, and it all seems to work. So if someone's got an idea of what these things go to, I sure would appreciate it.